I'm a strong believer of basic research because knowledge for knowledge always brings great things afterwards. Yet, if you find something that you realize, not only am I going to understand something that I've been obsessing for the last 20 years of my life, but I may actually find something that hopefully people could benefit from. That is priceless. That's the main driving force in the end. So in my lab, we try to understand how tissues uh, maintain themselves, regenerate on a daily basis, and how and why, unfortunately, sometimes uh, when things go wrong, that leads to the development of tumors that become very aggressive and start to invade and colonize the rest of the body, which is the process that is called metastasis. And that uh, really, unfortunately, is uh, the cause of 93% eh, of the deaths related to cancer. So it's sort of like, it's really the unmet clinical need that we have regarding cancer. I think the, the, for me, the major finding was, well, hey, we have identified the cells that are responsible for metastasis. That's the biggest step, because once you identify uh, the culprit, that's when you can start to ask, well, why? Why, are, why do you have this capacity and the tumor cell that is right next to you doesn't? For some reason, the cells are uh, almost like hooked, addicted on fat. Fortunately, not all types of fat. But unfortunately, they are addicted to types of fat that we consume a lot, in, mainly in industrialized countries. I don't think we can control the diet of the population. That's very, very difficult. But I think what you can control is if you have a patient already with a metastatic tumor, that you can treat that patient with some new therapy that is aimed at blocking that entry of the fatty acid. So I think there is, really there is hope. Uh, all of a sudden I get this phone call that I saw I was from abroad. I picked it up. It was a shock. <laughs> it was very surprised though. Um, but then immediately I realized, oh, Mm, you know, I, I, was, I was extremely happy. Besides the money for the lab, it boosts the morale of the lab. So I think for them, it makes them feel, well, yeah, we're, we are doing something right. You know? uh, our research is having a real impact. People are seeing it, you know, and people are acknowledging it. Of course, you feel very happy, you know, when uh, your peers, people that are great, you know, and that you respect uh, and that you look up to, you know, uh, think that you are worthy of something like that.